Welcome to my channel. Today I figured we would uh, go over some Christmas scents. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're going to talk about some more autumn scents. It's technically autumn until uh, December 21st. So I'm going to talk about autumn until I don't feel like talking about autumn anymore. Got a little uh, six candle haul from uh, Goose Creek. Also, uh, for some reason, there's a cold front came in and it's like below freezing this morning when I woke up. And I haven't turned on the heater in my shop yet, so I got my hoodie on. Didn't have to, uh, didn't have to comb my hair either, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, get into this little haul. I got uh, six candles from uh, Goose Creek, uh, some fall candles. Uh, they had a 6 4 65 sale. I don't know, something like that. But uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Goose Creek has been taking a while to ship. Um, See, I ordered these on the 15th, I think. Uh, it took them five days to ship them. And um, it took like another six days to get to me. So, I don't know, 16 days just seems like maybe a little bit longer than it should be. But what do I know about shipping candles? Anyways, let's get into this. Uh, no particular order. Um, I haven't burned any of these yet. I've been spending all my time trying to formulate these new jars uh, for my company. But uh, I'll go over the cold sniff. Uh, first one is Spiced Fallen Leaves. A lot of these are gonna have a uh, apple theme, you know, just because, I guess. Hmm. Get some apple, a little bit of fallen leaves, a little bit of spice, not bad. Not very strong on cold, but uh, not bad. Kind of simplistic label here. Let's see what we got here. Crisp apple, autumn spices, pear, and fallen leaves. Yeah, that's pretty much what you get. Um, I do, I do like mixing apple and pear. I'm actually working on um. One of those for um, next fall. Yeah, that's a good one. I really like them. Spiced fallen leaves. Next, we got sugared apple granola. Hmm. Another apple. Hmm. Yeah, that one. That was definitely gourmand. It's like a, almost like an apple pie. Maybe not as sweet. It's sweet, but um, uh, it's got something else in there. That kind of tones down the sweetness a little bit. Let's see what the notes say. Uh, baked apple, brown sugar, warm granola, and sprinkled cinnamon. Hmm. Don't get a lot of granola. Maybe just a little bit. Um, but yeah, the brown sugar and the, the baked apple kind of tone down the, the super sweetness a little bit, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, this next one. This one could be my favorite from the haul. I have had this one before. I believe this is the only one that I've had before. Hang on a second. Anyway, uh, they took our dogs out and uh, I think one of them saw a deer and started barking all crazy. Had to check on them. Get a lot of deer over here in our neighborhood for some reason. Anyways, happy autumn. This one could be my favorite one. Um, I have had this one before. I believe this is the only one. I may have had the spice fall and leaves. I'm not sure. I got so many fall candles. <sighs> but yeah, on cold, this one's strong. Um, I do like the, the way they blended uh, the apple and, and peach in this one. 
Yeah, that's really good. Let's look at the notes. Autumn peach. Not a summer peach. It's autumn peach. Spice cinnamon, red apple, fur needles, and crisp air. Now, I don't know if I'm getting crisp air from the candle or because it's like 32 degrees. But if it's a candle, it's pretty good. And kind of realistic. No, oh, I really like that one. I'm definitely going to burn that one here pretty, pretty soon. Might not be before Halloween, but it will definitely be before winter time. Uh, this next one, small batch apple cider. Uh, my last Goose Creek video, I reviewed apple cider. Um, the send notes on this one, you know, sounded pretty good. You know, I wasn't too impressed with their last regular apple cider. I mean, it wasn't special, but. And to be honest, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of difference on, uh, on the small batch apple cider. Um, the scent notes sounded amazing. You know, it sounded like something I would make, uh, red apple cider, orange, cinnamon, pumpkin, and clove. Yeah, that sounds almost like Samhain. Hmm. But I'm not, I can't get a lot on cold. You know, I'm going to have to burn this one. See what's going on in there. But, yeah, I mean, you get a little bit of the apple. I don't get orange. Maybe just a touch pumpkin. And if there's clove in there, it's it's really light. You know, I like to go heavy on the clove on mine. Because I'm weird. All right. Number five. Warm Vanilla Woods. That's a nice packaging. Yeah, I didn't really like this one. Um, it's vanilla, but it's it's mixed with uh, some type of. To me, it seems like a cheap, cheap wood scent. Kind of reminiscent of. Uh, Cardboard, you know, but you know, that's on cold, doesn't mean that's the way it's gonna smell. Whatever, not horrible, but uh, you know, just I don't think it's something I would like. Uh, scent notes vanilla sandalwood, toasted marshmallows, uh, sugared amber, and vanilla cream. Yeah, warm vanilla wood. And the last one, hoodie season. And it's not a dupe of uh, Bath and Body Works uh, sweater weather, <laughs> even though they sound similar. Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, this one could possibly come off just a little bit colonial on cold, you know, on the first, the first sniff. It kind of fades away, though. Um, this one... I mean, it does small smell a little bit like fall. Let me see what the notes are. Creamy nutmeg, flannel, vanilla, lavender, and smoothing woods. Not smoothing, soothing woods. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Would I repurchase? No. But not bad. All right, so that's my latest fall haul from Goose Creek. Who's to say I might not have more? I think the Scooby-Doo candles are on sale for $9.99. I might have to order those. I never got them before. Um, now let's shift focus a little bit to um, my company. Um, you may have noticed I, I pulled all my candles from the website. I just wasn't thrilled with them you know i mean for for a small form seven ounce candle you know they perform okay you know but i don't want to have something that's just okay you know my melts are strong in my opinion i wanted my candle to perform 
you know, similar to the melts. Um, I don't know if you'll ever get a candle that could perform, you know, like a wax, like a wax melt would. Wax melts are just, you know, they're designed to be stronger. You know, the the oils just release faster. Um, are they going to last as long as a candle? No, probably not. Um, you're going to get a little more subtle scent from the candle. You know, it just lasts longer. So, um, I pulled all those. I, I may put them back on clearance or something just to get rid of the stock I got. I got, I got a couple thousand dollars worth of uh, candles I pulled. But, you know, I, I I just wanted something that was better. You know, And uh, eventually I could see myself trying some three wicks for Halloween. You know, a couple of Halloween candles for next year I'm kind of developing. That's going to take some time, though. Um, I'll probably start doing that in February. Um, it's going to be a very limited edition. Those jars are expensive. Um, even these jars, uh, the new jars I went to, they're, they're ex expensive as well. You know, But I figured the only way I'm going to get more performance out of uh, my candles is to go a little bit bigger. You know, and I'm kind of kind of walking before I start running here, so I'm bumping up from uh, the seven ounce to a nine ounce you know that may not seem like a lot but it's technically 28 percent more wax uh, the opening is a uh, 20 percent bigger you know going to a a three inch opening and um the wick i had to bump up the wick a little bit it's going to be a uh, 16 percent bigger um so yeah i tested these for the last month straight um, almost every day and um, I do notice better throw um, I'm working on some different wax formulations to try to optimize that throw and still keep it stable for shipping and um, you know just to have a clean burn I have tried regular wicks um, I just I'm, I'm not impressed with them um, I have tried so many different type of wicks I got I got like six more coming in that I'm going to try, but right now the winner is still the woodwick. You know, it's just uh, a bigger woodwick. And in order to get the burn complete, you know, the, the full wax pull, I did have to go with a little bit thicker um, wooden X-wick, which um, does crackle just a little bit, you know, compared to the, the little ones I had in the 7 ounces. Uh, for instance, here's a, I tried the woodwick that I had in the 7 ounces, in this tester and I did not get a full wax pull after three hours um, that's kind of the rule of thumb you know as they say the diameter you know for every inch and in diameter that's how long it should take for the the wax pull to develop that's not always true but I mean it's a good starting point and that one just was under uh, I'm burning a tester at the moment uh, with the newer bigger wick See if you guys can hear the crackle. It's not, it's not crazy like uh, those wood wicks, you know, that Yankee carries. Um, it's a lot more fainter, but I mean, you could still, you still hear the crackle a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't like candles that crackle really loud. Uh, this one I could deal with. Um, so we'll see. Uh, also working on Krampus. Uh, which is funny because uh, I poured these um, these tester uh, wax melts when there was a solar eclipse. And uh, tonight I'm going to pour the first candles for the release during uh, lunar eclipse. <laughs> the Hunter Moon lunar eclipse. I mean, it just worked out that way. I didn't plan it. It's just, just kind of weird. Yeah, Krampus. I, I like this one. Um, the original version, um, if I sent these out to you, had a um, orange clove in it. I decided to um, take out the orange clove and just replace it with regular clove. I believed it, it melded better with the, the other scents that went in there. Uh, the Bayberry kind of gives it a little Christmassy vibe, but uh, the rest of it's definitely spooky. Um, you get clove, dark clove, uh, Bayberry. Uh, char birch, char birch, and a uh, little touch of leather. Not too much leather, but just enough to give it that really spooked feeling. Ah, 
but yeah. Um, the candles, you know, I'm gonna have to reformulate pretty much every scent that I have. So the the wax formulation is gonna vary just a little bit, you know, for different scents, you know, to make sure that I get the right, the correct burn. With these small seven ounces, you know, I, I could pretty much put any scent I wanted with the same wick and the same wax formulation, and I would get a I would get pretty good performance. But now that I'm getting bigger, you know, with the, the bigger candles, I'm gonna have to change the the wax formulation a little bit, you know, like maybe five to ten percent on every different scent, you know, depending. Um, I may have to adjust the thickness of the X wick a little bit, you know, for uh, for scents that, you know, kind of burn a little hot or scents that, you know, the oils are a little heavy. I mean, it needs a little thicker wick to, to get that, that right burn, you know. Anyways, I don't want to bore you with all my scientific jargon. Um, all those uh, that tuned in for uh, Haven's Halloween special, uh, that was pretty cool. You know, I got to see Brannigan, talk to him, and, and uh, Haven. Yeah, that, that's where I, I first announced that I'm going to start working on some three wicks. Um, kind of showed the prototype for the new, the new candles. Um, I'm happy with them so far. Um, I, I do think they perform a little bit better than the seven ounces, you know, so if I'm going to sell a candle, you know, somewhere around a $20 price point, which I have to, because, you know, my company is so small, I can't order these in thousands, you know, um, yeah, if I'm going to sell something for around that price point, you know, I, I want it to, you know, perform a little bit. So that's what I've been working on. That's what I've been testing. That's why I pulled all the candles. I just, um, you know, for 20 bucks, you know, you, you could almost get a Kringle if they're on sale. You know, you could get like two Goose Creeks. Um, you know, I'll never be able to compete with a uh, Goose Creek or Bath and Body Works, you know. But um, I, I just wanted something something better, you know, so that's what I'm working on. Don't think I took the candles away forever. You know, I just, just want to make them better. Anyways, tomorrow's Halloween. Um... Hope all you have a safe and happy Halloween and uh, stay spooky.